So I have just received a package from Revolution Trains uh, which contains the T Bogey fuel tank wagon. I have ordered a triple pack. Now I've already opened this, it was a rip tab. It was very nice and easy to open. And inside, as we turn it over, you can see it's nice and protected. Inside we have the nice outer packaging and inside some leaflets that tell us about the up and coming items they've got. The tip hook uh, KFA container flat, that'll be nice. The class 20, 320, sorry, and the 321 EMU. The 35 ton class B tank wagon, this is a new one, which will be more details on their website. And the class 92 electric locomotive, which is only just um, just been announced so that'll be a nice item um, look at their website for more details on that let's get to the main event this is the triple pack outer carton that we're looking at here uh, very nice um, and on the back there's even a nice color picture of one of these trains as it's moving over a bridge here and then on the other side some information about it not too much just a little bit of information uh, let's take the three tankers out of there and there they are packaged in plastic containers very nice nicely presented we'll open up one of these let's open up the green one simple opening of the box plastic outer all very familiar and then inside, and there we have the first problem that I see straight away. And uh, that is this outer wrapping. The outer wrapping, as you can see, is actually taped around the item. Now, if you have a look at this, you can see the very fine detail inside the wrapping. And I'm gonna have to be very careful taking this out to make sure that I don't dislodge any of these uh, ladders and things on the outside so let's take it out very carefully we can already tell this is a fantastic model the let's get rid of the the wrap I won't actually put it back in that wrap again for fear of um actually damaging the item again um, we'll come to more of that again uh, it's a very nice print on there and I don't know if we can zoom right in but um but the detail on this is absolutely amazing. What a fantastic model. Absolutely fantastic. Remember this is N-Gage, this is not double O. This is quite fantastic. Very, very impressed with this. The lettering is sharp. And the underneath, again, is very, very good moulding. What a fantastic model. And, um, we can almost read that. I mean, look at that. That's just fantastic. Better than the human eye can read anyway. What a great model. So that's the first one out. Um, my evaluation, well, I, I've never seen one of these close up. I have no idea if it's correct or not. But judging by the detail and the print on this, I don't think you'll ever find a better model of this. Uh, perhaps unless they have one that they can actually put oil in and uh, remove oil from, like the real thing. Um, what a model, fantastic. So there we go, so that's unpackaging the first ever uh, crowdfunded N-Gage model. And uh, very impressive it is, it is too. So, uh, now, as I said, I won't actually rewrap this. What I'll do is I'll flatten down the plastic in the box and I'll just lay it very gently on top and these ladders are very tricky so you're gonna to have to be very very careful opening these guys um, but what a fantastic model let's have a look at one of the blue ones as well so that's the green the efficiency now these uh, in real life I believe they run every uh, every single green one has two of the blue ones next to it and the picture on the back of the carton emphasizes this uh, as you can see there um, so there's two for every green by the look of it. 
So that's why the triple pack comes with one green and two blues. That makes perfect sense. So we'll have a look at the blue ones as well. These are the ones with green energy on them. And uh, we'll take off the top lid. I presume these are actually Rapido containers, uh, pop, uh, plastic boxes. Um, they seem to be very nicely made. They, they're stackable as well, which was nice. Um, so again, this plastic wrapping, this is a problem. This is a problem. I hope they're taking note of this. Um, you can see I'm uh, actually getting a bit caught up here with unpacking this, and that is that is a worry. Um, most of the major manufacturers will just wrap rather than actually sellotape uh, these uh, plastic pieces together. But again, here's the blue one. So uh, I'll just try and get my camera in focus. There we go. Look at that. Absolutely astounding, actually. Really, really good. VTG on the end. And uh, all the underneath uh, gear work. Very precise. That's my thumb, so you can see how small and intricate this lettering is. I mean, my God, that is fantastic. So, there we go. So, if you haven't ordered one of these, um, I suggest you do it fairly quickly because um, I understand they only make them to order uh, at the time of the crowdsource yeah, funding. So, um, if you get a chance to get one of these, um, well, I think you can see the detail. And uh, you may be throwing out some of your old Farish uh, tankers by the look of it. Fantastic. And uh, actually, if you have a look at the bogies, can you see that they're actually screwed in rather than pinned in? Um, they are actually quite free. And uh, if you have a look at the couplings, the couplings are actually separate from the bogey. Um, that's a nice touch. I like that. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's a great touch because that means that, um, uh, that the, the linkages won't pull. Uh, even if you get a little derailment or something, um, yeah, it won't, it won't uncouple them. Very nice. The ladders are pretty cool as well. Nicely bent round. Yeah, uh, for me, I, I'm not a rivet counter by any stretch, um, but uh, even for me, I, I think <laughs> if I can get a chance, I may be getting some more of these to replace some of the old Farish tankers that I that I have. Fantastic. So uh, I'll get these running on my layout in a little bit. My layout's not finished, but I get them running on my layout in a little bit and let you have a little look at it running around. Um, but uh, first impressions, fantastic. Bit of history for the Engage modeler because uh, they've been the first ever uh, English or British, should I say, manufactured by crowdsourcing. Um, but there we go. Of course, the Pendolino is still to come, and if this is any uh, any example of what the Pendolino is going to be like, then that is absolutely amazing. So, as I say, um, fantastic model. My only one small criticism is that plastic wrapping. Uh, but once you get that off very carefully, um, you have a fantastic model on your hands there. Um, and unlike many of the older models that some of us have bought in the past, we will probably never have to replace these with a newer, updated version. So there you go. Well done, Revolution Trains. Well done, Mike and Ben. Um, you've done a good job there. Very pleased. Um, Got to be honest with you, the price at first I thought was quite expensive. Um, paid over £50 for these three. But then... Um, thinking about that and the detail and everything I now think that I've got a bit of a bargain here and uh, be going online in just a bit just to see if we can get some more or if I can get some more of these um, three running around maybe not enough now I might have to get another couple of packs triple packs but fantastic good work bit of history there you go guys I uh, hope all you engage models out there put your orders in already if you haven't get your orders in revolutiontrains.com thanks very much